Hey guys, Bobbery18 here, and welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last part, we finished Great Bay Temple with Boblax, and no, I'm not gonna save. I meant to do like a dolphin jump off the platform, but no, I guess I can't for once. And in this part, we will be doing some more big surprise side quest stuff, because you know, that's what 20 or 80% of this game is. So yeah, uh, first thing that we're gonna do, now that we have the ocean cleared, and yeah, you can only do this, or er, not ocean cleared, but like when you beat Goat, or er, not Go, <laughs> Georg, once you beat Georg, you can come over here, and if you get out your hookshot, you can wait till you get over to that tree. It may not look like any, there's anyone there now, but that's just because of bad draw distance. <laughs> there is actually a guy there, and it probably will show up eventually. That is actually pretty bad draw distance. Yeah, there's a fisherman guy there, and we have a little mini game to play with him. Uh, you certainly need to time your hookshot well, uh, sort of, like if you just have it on the red dot, it'll like automatically move over like that, it looks kind of weird when you do it, but I don't know. So let's talk to him, now that the seas are back to normal, I've started a little business aimed towards tourists. If you pay 20 rupees, I'll invite you to a jumping game that has a really big prize. Uh, by that, he means a hard piece. If, you if you're up for it, go to that island in the center. Uh, how can you take my money when I'm that far away, sir? I don't think you can, so I'm going to be safe and just do it. Oh, you're up for it. Now then, I'll explain the rules, so listen carefully. I'm going to light the torches on each of the surrounding four islands in a particular order. Jump to the island that has the lit torch. If you can jump to it before the torch goes out, you'll get one point. If you get 20 or more points within the time limit, you'll get a big prize, but it'll cost you 20 rupees for one try. Uh, yes, I will give it a try. I still don't know how you're taking my money from this far away, and why is Tattle still over there by the fisherman guy? I don't know. Great, in that case, I'll start. So yeah, this minigame, uh, it may seem like it's pretty easy, and it probably really is easy, I'm just probably failing at it, but the first time I did this, the first time I did this, no, the first time I did this, I, I don't know, I just had so much trouble with it, like, I got it on my first try, actually, but then I swung my sword, which I don't even know why they give you the sword option to have here, maybe it's just like a thing for minigames, like they have to have you have the B button on there. But I swung my sword, hit the torch, and fell off. But yeah, you don't want to fall off. You just basically just want to do regular jumps uh, to each of these platforms. You want to try to keep three on screen at once. And then if none of those are lit, then you know it's the fourth one. So yeah. You just need to get 20 points. You have plenty of time. And yeah, this min this mini game is not hard at all. I'm just really sucking at it. Or I, I, I'm not sucking at it now. I'm actually doing decently well, but... When I used to play this game, I was pretty bad at it. I'm surprised it hasn't been the bottom one most of the time, because... Yeah, usually that's the one that always gets me, because... Or no, it's usually the side ones that get me, because of the perspective. Also, if you are if you uh, have a hard time seeing the light here, you might want to play it at night, like I'm doing. Um, so you can see the torches better, and just know where to hit more. And I got 21, I probably shouldn't do that. Once you get 20... I'm just going to play it safe and not do any more, you know, just in case. I'm even going to put my controller down just so I don't accidentally press the B button. I know there's no torch in the center one, but I, I don't want to take the chance because knowing me, something bad will happen. So now we're just sitting here for 25 more seconds looking at the very pixelated water. And if you just look at it, eventually it looks kind of mesmerizing. Like really, just, just stare into that water for a minute. It's so pixelated. I don't know. And there's also a starfish at the bottom, which isn't pixelated, surprisingly. I don't know. Maybe they could render starfish back then, but they couldn't render circles. Stupid N64. <laughs> Alright, that's it. And he even makes fun of his own minigame here, watch. Uh-oh, that was a little too easy. Oh, well, he's your prize. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he admits that it's too easy. You got a piece of heart, and we got two pieces so far. And I was thinking of saving, I was thinking of saving up to buy a big ship. Now it looks like I may go bankrupt. I'm not sure if he's, like, intending to break the fourth wall there by, like, saying that you're the only one that'll ever play this minigame because no, none of the NPCs move, like, in the game. Like, just just by breaking the fourth wall like that. Or if he's just saying, like, he, don't, he, wasn't, he won't have any more business because, you know, the impending doom and stuff like that. But I don't know. Either way, it's pretty funny, especially if he is breaking the fourth wall because I just love when games do that so funny but yeah now what we're going to do is actually i mentioned a, a few times actually that there's a mini game we can do with those frogs that we've been seeing throughout the game now 
So yeah, we have to actually go collect all the... Well, sort of collect all of them. Uh, we have to go up to them, and I probably should have done this while I found one in the Great Bay Temple earlier. I just didn't know that we would be doing it on this time... On this time slot, on this set of time, but yeah. Uh, we're gonna go find all the frogs. Like you saw, there was one in Woodfall and one in Great Bay. The other two, I, I'm not sure I, if, I, if I explained extensively yet. But yeah, um, I'll just cut to each of them. You already saw the one in Great Bay Temple... Uh, but I'll just cut to it anyway. It's in that room where we fought Gecko. Same with the one in Woodfall Temple. That's also in the room where we fought Gecko. And then the other two I'll show more extensively, but I'll still cut to those two. So I will see you at the one in Great Bay Temple. Alright, here we are back in the room where we fought the other Gecko. Um, if you want to make this easy on yourself, if you did do this on the same day that you're doing the... Um, that you finish the temple on and you have to go back for into it for some reason the water will still be reversed like you know we reversed it so the red water or the red pipe water is flowing now so the thing is still going to be reversed and you can still get in this room uh, or in the room outside of here with like the where the compass was i think or maybe it's the map i don't know but that room yeah you know I, I went through it a bunch of i went through it a couple times but yeah it's kind of hard to get through if you have the water reversed still and yeah, you just want to talk to this frog with the Don Crow mask on. But yeah, if you want to make this easier on yourself, you can reverse the water back so that the yellow water is flowing uh, back. So yeah, you can do that if you want to. I just opted not to because it was faster. Uh, yeah, so if you talk to the frogs, they will say that they'll go to they're, they'll go to Snowhead when it's spring out. Don't worry, you you don't have to make it spring before you come and get all these frogs. I'm actually going to be doing that after we find all of them. Uh, yeah, because you do have to have it spring, you know, go defeat goat again. But before we do that, I do want to sh or before I cut to the next frog, which is in Woodfall Temple, I'm going to show this. If you play the Song of Storing in a temple, I don't think I've ever showed this. Uh, it won't give you the map to warp to. You'll just be able to soar to the entrance. So that's a pretty handy uh, way if you want to exit the exit a temple fast. So yeah, I will cut now to the frog in Woodfall Temple. It's just basically in that room where we fought Gecko. Now that we have the the bow, we can just get into it really. E Actually, now that we have the fire arrows, we can just light the light that um that giant flower in the center, then jump across, go into the room. You know, you saw it before. You you've seen it before. So yeah, I will cut to that room with the gecko in it, and you do actually have to defeat him again since I reset time. So I will do that and cut to him when I defeat him. Also, this is how you exit Great Bay Temple if you cared. So yeah, I will cut to that gecko. Alright, there we go, we burned Gecko alive. <laughs> yeah, now that you have the fire arrows, or I guess you could use ice arrows too, because I think they do the same amount of damage, uh, you can kill Gecko in two hits after he goes into his second form, so yeah. That's pretty cool, like when he's on his frog-like cradle that cr cr cradle? No, critter. When he's on his frog-like critter there, you can just, with two hits, yeah. So, uh, talk to me. Oh, I took it off. There we go. Ah, Dongaro, it's been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be? You came all this way looking for me? Yeah, I did, but you're sort of like trapped in that gecko or something. Ah, you need not say a thing. Upon seeing that face, I understand. Is it true? But I heard that there was still winter in the mountains. When spring comes, I shall definitely go to the mountains, so let us meet there. Uh, yeah, he has different text if you actually if it actually already is spring, but I'm not really going to get to show that. Um, so yeah, now I will meet you. Actually, there's one in Clocktown in the laundry pool. I think I might have showed it before. I don't really need to cut to it since it's already in sort of clock townish area. Uh, actually, maybe I will because this will take a minute. So yeah, I'll just cut to the laundry pool. You know where that is, and there's a frog there as well. Okay, here in the laundry pool, the frog is just right over here. Speak to him. He, same copy pasta text, so I don't really need to read it again. So now the last frog, uh, you may be wondering where it is because it's actually sort of in a hidden-ish location. I guess I'll not cut to it, because it, it, I haven't really shown where it was before. I mean, we passed by it, but I haven't shown really extensively where it was before. It's in Southern Swamp, like the actual Southern Swamp, not Woodfall. Uh, yeah, I never actually noticed how funny that mask looks on Link, too. It's just like frogs cover- or frog, like, at, like arms or hands or feet covering his, like, eyes. That just- I don't know. I, I, if that's a real frog, that's probably- considered animal abuse or something, killing a frog and turning it into a mask. Hopefully it's stuffed and not just, like, killed or something, even if it is killed. Because that would be pretty disgusting, having a slimy dead frog on your face. I, I don't know. Maybe some people are into that, but I don't know. <laughs> anyway, if you just use Deku Link to come over here, and I think you can 
just use regular Link to swim over here too, because I don't think this gray water is poisonous. It may look like it, especially because it turns into regular water when you clear Woodfall, but I don't think it is. You can also use Zora Link if you have him by this time. Um, well, you should, because you can't get all the frogs without Zora Link, because you need him to go to Great Bay Temple, so yeah. The last frog is over here on this log. Frog log, so yeah. Same text, darn you. Okay, so now that we got all the frogs, there's five in total, and remember, the last one will appear when we actually make it spring. He's already at the pond there. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut until I beat Goat, because we do need it to be spring, and actually it puts you right out by the pond there when you do beat Goat, so I will meet you over there when I beat Goat. Alright, here we are, back in spring, over by the pond here, just like I said. Put on your Don Garros mask. I had to unequip it because, you know, fire arrows for stuff. But yes, if you go up to them, I've been waiting for you, Don Garo. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but it looks like you've lost a little weight. Uh, a frog is fatter than Link? Wow. I mean, not that Link's fat or anything, but a frog usually isn't that big. As you can see, Don Garo, the long winter has ended and the spring has finally come to these mountains. Let us begin our chorus. Thank God you don't have to... That you don't have to manually direct it or conduct it like you did in Ocarina of Time. Although I think these are the same frogs from that game, so that's pretty cool. The conducting was a spectacular, and all of our members watched the occasion. This is how deeply we were moved by your spectacular conducting. And we get another piece of art. Three so far, so that's pretty good. Um, I I have been recording for a long time, but I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be cutting most of that out. So next thing we need to do is... Um, uh, the next thing we need to do is actually involving resetting time, so maybe I will just end it off here, um, just for the sake of it not being too long. I know this hasn't been the longest part, because I probably hasn't been the longest part, but I just don't want it to be too long of a part. So I think I might end it off here, and then we will do the stuff after we reset time in the next part. So in the next part of Majora's Mask, I will reset time, and in the next part we will do some more side questing. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you then.